And it's very interesting, y'all. Um, first of all, I'm going to say this. This reading is going to be for those who are spiritually ascending. If you know that you are on a spiritual journey and you feel connected to a higher power or you feel connected to your spirit guides or you feel them around you or you're getting signs, you're seeing synchronicities, you know you have some form of gift. I'm talking to a high priestess. You're someone here who's very connected, but I I feel like you know your power, that you have power, but I feel like you may not, spirit is trying to call you into something else, like a better, a bigger power. You have an, an ancestral connection, a close relationship with your spirit guides and your ancestors, and you definitely have Archangel Michael around you protecting you right now, but I feel like spirit is trying to tell you something. They're trying to call you send you a message. I, I, they're trying to get your attention and they feel like you're not maybe seeing this just yet. You're not maybe getting it. Maybe for some of y'all, you're not getting enough rest. This four of swords came out crossing. That could also be an indication of you dreaming, needing to do more meditation. Okay. So this thing can come to you, this idea. All right. The Hermit was the first card out. Virgo energy. Then we have the Magician came out. Gemini energy. Then we have the High Priestess. Pisces energy. Then we have the Judgment. Scorpio energy. <laughs> then I was like, okay, Spirit is trying to tell somebody something here. Spirit is trying to tell you something, Collective. Somebody here is highly gifted, highly connected. Somebody here is an alchemist. You're powerful. Like you, your your angels and your team, they're trying to get your attention. Um, judgment and the Ace of Wands. Some spirit is trying to get your attention. There's an idea coming, right? And then I was like, okay, clarify the judgment in the Ace of Wands. Four swords came out, but it came out crossing. So y'all need to meditate more so you can get connected with whatever this bright idea is, this passionate new beginning that you have. You could be any zodiac sign here, okay? But this, for major arcana cards to come out here like this is like, it's a really unusual. So I feel like I'm talking to somebody who has spiritual supernatural spiritual abilities and connection a deep connection you have wisdom and knowledge that you don't even know that you have access to the hermit the magician the high priestess judgment ace of wands okay then i was like spirit can you clarify this energy i moved to a different deck using the glowing guidance oracle deck which is by Mystic Beauty. I love her. Shout out to Mystic Beauty and her decks. Ancestral Connection came out, y'all. Ancestral Connection. If you've been feeling like... Okay, let me just keep going before I say that. Left Out in the Cold came out after Ancestral Connection. Wheel of Fortune came out after that. Connection Through Meditation came out after that. I'm telling you. And that's why I was like, yeah... You need to meditate more or get rest. Pay attention to what your spirit team is trying to tell you. I feel like low key, like you have some gifts and you they're powerful, but you may not have even opened fully opened the possibilities or been able to imagine what you're getting ready to do. For those of you who are like, you know, interested, interested in this kind of stuff, you may be seeing animals like uh, red birds red cardinals here i'm talking to somebody who feels left out by spirit in the cold you could possibly be feeling like maybe you're not connected to spirit or, or you might be questioning your gifts or something here but no spirit gave you a gift and spirit wants you to know that they did not abandon you um whatever it is that you try to manifest here spirit wants you to know that you have, they never abandoned you. They've always been with you. They're going to continue to walk with you right by your side. Um, the wheel of fortune, you're on the good side of the wheel. You are here to do God's work is the energy that I'm seeing. Okay. You're here to do God's work. 
the wheel of fortune embrace the turning of the wheel of fortune for it brings cycles of destiny in motion as it spins it reminds us that every phase of life serves a purpose to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven so make sure you're co connecting with spirit and like doing some more meditating like literally close your eyes lay down Take a nap. Sit Indian style. Whatever you got to do. Okay. Now, I'm going to say this. Whatever this ace of wands is, this bright idea, I feel like this bright idea is going to change your life because I clarified that and I got the nine of cups. And that's like a wish fulfillment, right? Something that's going to... This is something that you are going to love, like your purpose, your passion. You feel emotionally connected to it. But also, you're passionate about it. So this could be whatever this is. I feel like it definitely has something to do with your future. And your future is going to be bright. Your future is going to be very, very bright. Now, I'm going to say this. I feel like over here, on the other side, I have some other energy that's weird. It's like a mixture in between you and somebody else. I feel like I see you having to make a balanced approach or you're trying to take a balanced approach to making a decision you don't you don't want to make the wrong decision here about something it's like you get this epiphany or idea spirit speaks to you spirit is calling you to go do something go somewhere travel somewhere but there is this energy of you being feeling unsure or like Having some anxiety about it with this two of pentacles and this nine of swords and this three of swords. Okay. That's what I'm getting. I feel like this is your energy. But ultimately, the good news is here. I feel like you're going to make a balanced decision. You you um, are moving on to better things. Calmer waters, six of swords, moving away from drama or people who play games or this is just as you moving into a peaceful time in your life, a more peaceful time in your life. And I feel like, you know, in this six of swords energy, this is where you're being guided to. This is where your spirit team or whoever you're talking to that has your back in the spiritual realm. But I feel like the thing is, you're going somewhere, you're going by yourself or wherever you're going, there's not a lot of people that are going to be able to follow you or there a lot of people are not going to be able to go with you. There are other people are going to get wind of you traveling and going some way or you just leaving them behind and they feel rejected, four cups. They are in conflict, five of wands, and I feel like they're talking about it, page of wands. I feel like some people here, some haters, this, for some of y'all, this could be your own family. For some of y'all, this could literally be your own family. For some of y'all, this could be co-workers or friends or lover, whoever. I feel like there's more than one person gossiping about this. And then these people are going to talk about like how you've changed or because you don't deal with them anymore uh, or that you think you're better than somebody. And I don't think that's the case at all the person in the six of swords energy is merely doing what spirit asks of them and they're also moving away from five of swords energy which is winning at all costs being manipulative playing mind games not being honest not being truthful not being self-serving the six of swords energy is like the I, I, i'm moving where spirit tells me to i'm, I'm gonna be quiet about it I'm going to take some time for myself because, you know, in some decks, the six of swords, there are other people on that boat. But here it's just you and spirit and you it's, it's, it's at night and this car, it looks like it's a full moon and it's at night. Yeah, you're being guided. But anywho, so let's see who these people are. Who are these people in this page of uh, wands and five of cups energy and four of cups energy? <sighs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Psycho, I'm sorry. Somebody who one minute is saying, I'm sorry one minute to you. The next minute they're being nice. Next minute they're being mean. Did someone who... 
doesn't feel bad about what they say about you, whether it's true or false. This could be somebody mentally unstable also. Like I said, some of you all, this could be a, a twin flame. Some of you could be a soulmate. It could be a karmic or a karmic family. This is somebody you have a soul contract with. Rich, having abundance, material wealth, financial stability. E either this person, this kind of wanted to come out crossing. I'm going to clarify this in a second. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. I just looked down and on the top of the deck is broke. As soon as I look down. So this is somebody here who may suffer from, um, I, I, yeah, they may suffer from mental instability of some form, something of the sorts, or they may display some sort of violent or antisocial behavior. They don't have to be, or this is somebody here who's nice to you in your face and they're, they're mean to you behind your back with this page of wands and five of wands energy. This is somebody who like to keep up shit, drama. They feel comfortable. They feel comfortable in the drama, you know, if it's no, if it's no drama going down, it's like, oh, why is it so quiet and peaceful? This don't feel right to me in my soul. Let me stir the pot so so I can sit down and, and, and eat my popcorn and sip my tea. Mind you, this is you looking the opposite direction in this energy of let me go mind my business and worry about me and and. This is you enjoying the peace. So you got somebody around you who is feeling rejected or this person will feel rejected after you move on. And this is somebody here who doesn't have money, but they act like they have money. Okay. Materialistic, bad with money, um, care about how they look, right? If this is a woman, you know, they look great nice body they like designer things they may travel a lot um no money in the bank account gucci purse twenty dollars in the wallet type deal okay um or having to use other people if it's a male same deal they get a lot of attention very attractive person king and i mean queen this could be a younger fire sign but they don't have to be I just feel like you're flying under the radar. You're not causing any attention. Remember, you're going on about your business. Six of Swords. Low key. This is you in this low key, peaceful ass energy. <sighs> oh, show me more here about this situation and these people gossiping about my collective. The people gossiping about you. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is remember this was your energy, low key, six of swords. This is their energy. Cheater, high key, want some attention, love attention, care. They want everybody to see what they what they what they can afford, even though they really cannot afford it. This somebody definitely may have like uh, a lot of debt, you know. <sighs> They may hang out, party a lot, drink a lot here. This person loves attention that they get from people. They love to go out and be seen and in public. They enjoy it. <sighs> Show me more. What's the drama about? What's the drama? What's the five of, five of wands? Ooh, that's too many. The, oh, hold on a second. The drama is you moving on. Like I said, Six of Swords. This says moving, new house, relocating, leaving someone or something behind. You're leaving these people behind. For some of you, this could have been a love connection. I don't know. And these people are disappointed that you're leaving them behind. Literally on the top of the deck. It's that four cups energy, disappointment, things not going in your favor. Someone or something has caused sorrow, trickster. That's some people over here. That's these people over here. Show me more here about this situation. Show me more about this five of wands, please. Thank you. Yeah, bad habits. These are people who are toxic. They, they spend too much. They drink too much. They do everything in excess and they do it all for the wrong reasons. <sighs> Toxic. 
suffers from addictions, toxic mindset or toxic behavior. And this is why you're over, over here in the Six of Swords low-key energy, just trying to have some peace. And you you feel like, well, if I got to be by myself, well, damn it, I'm just, that's what I'm going to be. Anyway, ghosted energy. They feel like you ghosted them. You won't call them. You won't answer the phone. You won't text them back. You're avoiding. I feel like you are avoiding these people. You're avoiding the drama. Literally, that's what the Six of Swords is. What else here for the collective? Let's move to a, the Kipperish deck by Intuitive Kev. Shout out to Intuitive Kev. I love these cards, Kev. Oh my gosh, they are so accurate. So... Show me more about these people in this Five of Swords energy. I mean, ooh, Five of Wands energy. So they may have played games with you. Show me this Five of Wands energy. Thief, like I said, because they're broke. Because they're broke. <sighs> For some of y'all, somebody may have stole something from your house. Don't invite this person to your house or any of these people. This could have been somebody you lived with for some of y'all. <sighs> Show me this five of wands energy, please. Somebody got light eyes. You know they say never trust a person with light eyes. <laughs> for some of y'all, there's a masculine involved in this situation and they have very light eyes, like a hazel, light brown or something, or light gray, light gray or something. That's not for everybody. Block. See what I'm saying? But spirit, is you're protected. You have an ancestral connection here. You are working. You're a high priestess in very powerful energy. This is block. These people have no more access to you. You close the door on that. It's you and the Six of Swords energy. Bye. Chucked up the deuces. <sighs> Respectfully blocked. In decline. Change. And they mad at you. The ops. I can't make this up. The bottom of the deck says opposition. The ops are mad at you and upset because you've changed. They feel like you've changed collective. I don't understand why people do this. Why don't they want, do they not expect people to heal and grow up and learn and evolve and move on and not want to be stuck in drama and be something they're not or overspend when they know they don't have it in the bank. This is you protected from the ops as I split the deck and look down. It's no competition. That's, I think these people are realizing. I know these people are realizing. Based on this energy that I'm seeing here collectively, these people are realizing there is no match. You're protected. And you're minding your business. It's peacefully. Peacefully. You don't even want to get involved in the drama. Like I was saying earlier, the reason why I was telling y'all earlier, family, happy family and betrayal is out here. Like it could have been your own family that betrayed you. That's that energy that I'm getting. Okay. Somebody here in your own family could have stabbed your back. Somebody you could have had kids with could have stabbed your back. Or there's somebody else in your energy who's mad at you for moving on. And they in a whole nother situation. They have children, the whole family. And the dynamic, the karmic dynamic that they have with this other person is they smiling each other's faces, acting like they love each other, kissing each other goodnight, but low key they stabbing each other in the back every day. No loyalty. And they mad at you for moving on in peace. Not even to, you didn't even give these people a notification. You just bounced. You said okay, ghosted. I blocked. You didn't have to make an announcement. <laughs> Show me more here about these uh, people. Why are they bothering with the collective? Holy Spirit. Why are they bothering with the collective? Because you're in your north node and you're healing. You are in your north node and you're healing. Just period. You're moving towards your north node. 
they ex these people ex did not expect for you to be healing and doing the work and changing. They thought you were just gonna be stuck. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand. I don't understand. I, I do believe that somebody here, this for some of y'all, this could have been somebody that you in a commitment with, or this person has a somebody. They're married. For some of y'all, could be your mother, or your father. Everybody's situation gonna be different. But this came out crossing very clearly. Came out crossing. So these people over here are definitely stabbing each other in the back, acting like a house is um, a house is a home. It's not. <laughs> anyway, um, show me why they are hating on the collective. Because they want you to not change and grow and heal. They don't want you to be in this self-love energy. They want you to stay stuck. Like I said, thank you, Holy Spirit. They want you to stay stuck and in this bondage. They don't want you to be free. They don't want you to be guided and fully in your power. I, this is the most weirdest expletive mm, I have seen for people who just want you to stay stuck. They definitely could have a mental illness because uh, honestly, y'all, this is not reasonable behavior. Don't you want to see your family and your friends, the people that you care about, really grow and expand and experience and get more connected? This tells me this is karmic. This is some karmic shit. Oops, excuse my language. You know, because somebody who's in divine energy is not going to do this to you. <sighs> All right. So anything else we need to know here? What's going on with this situation with this commitment? Clarify this commitment energy. Let's just be nosy. What's this commitment energy? Whoever these people are, they're doing the devil's work. Can't make it up. Evil eye on the bottom of the deck. Whoever these people are, they are doing the devil's work. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be cool. I'm not trying to be catchy. Flying monkey is clarifying and it flew directly on top of commitment. Doing the devil's work. Dummies. Yeah. Animosity. I'm turning the cards over because they fell out, but they were flipped. They were flipped face down. So I'm just seeing this too. Animosity. These people mad at you, sending you the evil eye because you. how dare you change? How dare you be in divinity? How dare you be a divine being? We're not in divine being energy. <laughs> What's this expectation? I already know what this is, but I'm going to clarify. What's this expectation? What's the thoughts and expectations? Exactly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Evil I came back out. These people thought and expected. They are sitting around sending you the evil eye, maybe even sending you magic or whatever. I don't know who this karmic couple is. Like I said, for some of y'all, this is somebody in your family or someone you used to be married to or somebody you 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 were attacked. Old crazy ass ex that won't let you go. Got somebody else and they still worried about you. I don't know. Apply it where it fits. They're sending you this evil eye energy. Waiting to hear news. What I told you is. The reason this energy came out. You're in the six of swords. Moving on. Somebody is getting word that you're moving on. Page of wands. Five of wands. It's creating drama conflict. Gossip. They don't want to see you do better. I don't know any other way to put it. This is really sad, you know? How, like, people don't want to... Want... <sighs> so they may have sent you some dark magic or something or just gossiped about you, lied on you. You know, whatever it is. But what's this travel energy? Because I definitely feel like y'all getting ready to travel somewhere. What's this travel energy? Like I said, they about to be pissed as hell. These people about to be like, damn, how did the collective get blah, 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 blah. 
Look, you getting ready to travel and be in this Ace of Pentacles energy, minding your damn business. <laughs> oh, and they dazed and confused and mad. It didn't work. What we sent the collective didn't work. What we said about the collective didn't stop them from growing and healing and being in this self-love energy. Do they not understand that all of that comes from within? Can anybody take that from you? Just, you know, make sure y'all stay prayed up, obviously. Do your return to sender. Um, take a salt bath. Whatever you feel like you need to do to get protected and grounded or just pray, talk to God, which I feel like you obviously do. You, you, I feel like I'm talking to somebody who knows Jesus is on the main line and you be telling him what you want all the time. <laughs> like with these cards out here, look, the, the, the hermit, magician, the high priestess and judgment. If this ain't you calling up your spirit team or calling up Jesus and telling on the main line and telling them what you want, then honey, I, you know, listen, believe in yourself. Believe that you are connected because you are just period. You are. Show me about this travel and unexpected money for my collective faith. Because you kept the faith. I feel like this is a testimony. I feel like this is a testimony. And I just got real emotional. Like I wanted to cry. Like I just like I just got. Then I said in one of my videos this morning, if it wasn't when I woke up this morning, it was like if it wasn't for the his grace and his mercy. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who you are you do stay prayed up you were you faithful you love other people you doing right by yourself and others you have worked on yourself you have a strong connection to spirit and source and you're continuously opening up to spirit and god and you, you trust and you surrender and you're moving away from the drama you're changing your life and you're happy to maybe you used to be in this high key energy with them you're not like that anymore. You can, people change every day. We going to pray that these people over here change. Because you kept the faith. Spirit is giving you something that's going to make you a lot of money. It's going to give you a lot of abundance. It's going to make your financial, your life financially is changing. Some of y'all might be buying a nice big ass house. What's this travel, unexpected money, and faith? Protection. Listen, you're, you are divinely guided and protected. Spirit is sending you this. This is a gift from God, just period. And you got a love offer coming in, too. You might have a love offer for somebody who works in the medical field or they could be a spiritualist like you. You might be coming into union with a twin. Underneath the love offer is um, priest. Remember, your energy is already out here. The high priestess is out here and we just saw faith. The, um, don't these look like divine counterparts? They, they do to me. So you got a love offer coming in from a divine counterpart, a twin flame. And this is somebody, ooh, intuitive Kev is underneath that and actual money. Ooh, you finna meet a boss daddy. Ooh, underneath that is divine masculine. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna show y'all this. Okay, high priestess is underneath here. That's number 71, the high priestess, right? And here's the priest, 71 and 72. So just to confirm for y'all, but underneath that was occupation, intuitive care. This is a, somebody who is a spiritualist or a doctor or a healer. But guess what? They're your divine counterpart and probably your twin, your divine masculine. Hello, actual money is underneath that. Okay, this is somebody who's, they're good financially and stable, spiritually and financially. Then we have divine masculine, the number one. He, he, he the one. 
I'm him. Divine Masculine said, I'm him. Some of y'all, this person's going to be bald. No mustache. A little bit of fuzz, but bald. Um, for some of y'all, this person may have a low cut and a low, a low beard. Okay? And for others of you, this person could be like... Um, he might have green eyes or light eyes or something and curly brown hair with a little go-to goatee. Is that how you say it? Goatee and a mustache. And then one of these per people might wear glasses. Okay. Great, great energy. So they mad at you. So the moral of the story is if they not if they weren't that mad with you before, they're about to be real mad with you when this happened. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I don't just don't understand why people and, and I don't know why these people are so concerned about you if they got each other. If they got each other, why are they worried about you? This is how the world sees them. This is how they want people in the world to see them. But this is who these people really are. With these knives behind their back. Betraying people. Betraying each other. Cheating on each other. Lying on each other. Constantly fighting and bickering. Refusing to grow. That sounds like a karmic cycle to me. It sounds like the merry-go-round that Keith Sweat be talking about. I'm going to get off. That was you. I think I'm going to get off of this ro this ride and mind my business. I don't even need an announcement. No, thank you. They're going to be in this Three of Swords energy, Five of Wands energy after they get rejected for a cuz. I don't know what else to say. Or they're going to feel rejected. They just want to feel so important in your life, I feel like. They're not. Go meditate somewhere, y'all. Okay. Subscribe to the channel if anything resonated for you. Um, join us on Patreon if you're into that kind of thing. We do twin flame readings over there all the time. If you need a personal reading, that information is below in the description box. Did I forget anything? I don't think I did. I love y'all. And make sure your notification bell is turned on to all so you know when I upload new videos. I'll see you guys later. This was a real good reading.